Hello. 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 Every Rush Song. And welcome to the show, Every Rush Song. There's Tim looking very intimidating. Less intimidating. 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 <laughs> It's good. Nice. Well played, Jay. I'm trying well to just played. have my head there, but my shoulder's sticking. So there we go. Huh? <laughs> well, Email hello. us. Tell us what you think about Tim's head, 2112 at everyrushsong.com. <laughs> yes, on the social media site at Every Rush Song. Today, we're going to talk about what album to do next because we're just about to wrap up. Hemispheres, and we got to decide which album to do third. Yes. So shall we use the same format? Just go around the circle and vote, nominate, explain? No. Okay. I say... Jay, tell us what... Yes. But I say for the (laughs) one after this next album... Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. We get like the Powerball rolly thing put a bunch of balls write down the name of the albums and then we have somebody reach their hand in then a white ping ball ping pong ball out and that will be the album you had me at reach their hand in (laughs) that's what i want i want a set of ping pong balls each with a rush album on it (laughs) so that we could have lotteries or yeah yes yes that would be awesome all right Somebody that can make ping pong balls, Do it. you have your you have your task. Do it. Go. Come back to us. We want it. So, who Jay. wants to start? Let me Jay start. I, 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 how about Jay? Because your head is perfectly, perfectly centered in the Starman. Uh, it is the Red Star logo there. Starman, nothing Jay. but Starman. Starman. <laughs> Jay repping for the two all of series. Starman. <laughs> well, okay, so I'm going to throw out my first choice for the next album to cover. Shane, did you want to say something first? I'm going to write it down. Oh, okay. Uh, and this is going to be a real the shocker for you, for all of you. Uh, I'm going to say right now I know what it is. What is it? It's Rush. Well, of course the it's first Rush. Well, it's we'll Rush. Do it. We're doing it's every Rush okay. song, Tim. Okay. That's the band that we're talking about. Oh, gosh. Well, I understand. Show, the first album. <laughs> Tim, that was, that was your... Uh, I think I made my... Shoes make. I think I made my, my feelings pretty clear about that album. And you're right. It is the first Rush what? album. Wow. <laughs> 1974 self-titled Rush. Wow. And and I, and I, and I have and come really, around on this album. I Neil's really, not even on it. I really like it. I, I know Neil's not on it. <laughs> it's 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 very classic rock sounding. It's it's definitely not your your uh, the rush that you you come to know in later albums. Uh, there's a hint of it there, I think, with uh, um maybe what? What's the last song on that album? Uh, Working man, working Plus. man, working man is, is is the one song I would say would be the hint of rush to come. The rest of it is very class classic album to me. Uh, you hear a little Boston, you hear a lot of Led Zeppelin influence. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but I I've been listening to it and I I I just kind of I set my my mindset was okay, this is a Rush album, but don't expect it to sound like Rush. Just take it for what it is. And just listening to to it as as it is, I really really like it. And I think our good friend Brian, who doesn't like Rush, I think he should listen to that. In fact, I gave him that. Out- uh, I'm sorry, but uh, obviously Brian isn't a really good friend. No mo. <laughs> oh wow! Sorry, well, he we is a friend me, on so. Beer Thursday, but not on every Rush. <laughs> wow. Well. Anyway, yeah, that's my pick. The my first pick would be first choice would be uh the very first Rush album. There it is. Got you down. Tim. Thank you, sir. You know, real quick before we go to me, when you were saying that you were hearing some rushness 
that we would get later on, right? That's what you were saying. A but, working man. Working man working is man. the closest, I think, but I see, hear a classic be, Rush sound. To me, I, I agree with you on there, but on the song before and after, the introduction, how it's it's long, it, 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 you know, it builds up a little bit. And it really has nothing to do with the rest of the song, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That to me is a little hint of Getty and Alex, you know, wanting to just do these little jams, mm -hmm. you know, that would, anyways, yes. So I can, uh, I can. Yes, but do you agree? No. There's a permit <laughs> going on around here. All right, Tim. All right, Tim. I'm ready to write down your suggestion. My first choose make option would be counterparts. Counterparts. You know what? I almost put that one down. I almost put that one down. Well, you should have. Foolish. Because then we would have been in agreement. <laughs> okay, Tim, I... why counterparts? Uh, number one, because uh, besides moving pictures, it's in the it's the second greatest album Rush ever did. Uh, really, I'm writing that down. For moving, those of you just moves, joining, we're talking about 1993. Moving pictures Counterpart. is number one. All the others are number two. So for me to say oh, that okay, counterparts okay. is I number gotcha. two, okay, okay, okay. So not not number two alone. Right. Yeah. Number Cap two, along with the along with the rest of them, uh, aside from. And, and, when, from and when I'm saying this again, I just said all the other albums are number two, uh -huh. but Counterparts was album that after such a long break of the heavy keyboard era, uh, Power Windows, Grace Under Pressure, Hold Your Fire, with Presto. The keyboard's still there, not as heavy. And then again, in Roll the Bones, uh, the guitar started to come back, just not a bunch of power chords and then really good guitar solos. There was a lot more rhythm guitar being played on those two albums. Counterparts is the album where the balls came back. Because the first time I heard Stick It Out on the radio, Stick and, they, it out. They, and they had not announced, you know, hey, this is the new uh, single from Rush. You know, the song just came on, and I thought it was a new Kiss song. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. You thought it was a new like, Wait. Yes. I mean, that's not was... Paul Stanley. <laughs> so, I mean, I was like, wow. Uh, They've they've upped the distortion on the guitar again, and and the rest of the album is just an incredible album. It was an incredible tour. They it was on that tour that they brought back Cygnus X One Book Two Hemispheres Prelude as part of of it wasn't in the was it the encore. No, Come it was a longer but, title too. But but it was towards the end of the show. And okay, hemispheres. Um they they brought that in and words are like oh, what are those Canadians? You know, you know I so, don't think I saw that tour. Uh you're correct, Jay. You did not. Damn. It was a it was a good one. Um I just, I love, I love counterparts. So why do you think we should do it now? I do too. <laughs> I do too. It's definitely one of my top 17 Rush albums. Yeah, for sure. See, <laughs> see, you've got 17. I've got two. <laughs> there's, there's 17 that are tied for number one and then two that are tied for number two. Right. Just kidding. I'm going to, I'm going to, be a broken record, and I'm going to say Clockwork Angels because it rocks. The more I listen to it, the more I like it. And I got the audio book, and it's just sitting in my queue waiting to be listened to. 
Hey, you must not like it that much if you haven't listened to it yet. <laughs> yeah, I think we've had this conversation yeah. before. I know, right? I know. How long has so, it been sitting in your queue? No, I didn't. I didn't buy it until this week. But, oh, okay. And if if we don't do it next, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and read and listen to the book because mainly because it's probably gonna be really hard to analyze without without knowing. What, I was going to uh, say, you, should, uh, you should probably read it and then, but I, I like the idea of you doing that and then you yeah. can kind of Dang, shame. fill us in on all that. And maybe I'm just looking for a reason to do an album, <laughs> an entire album twice to, because I mean, now, if I, you think about it, we I have almost, 169 episodes max that we could do. We got to fill something. I listened to that album uh, a couple times uh, this week, as a matter of fact. And yeah. I do. I, I love that album. And I love the live album mm -hmm. uh shane uh, could you do me and jay a favor and would you call us at night and read you want to read it to you the book yeah i wonder yeah. if i could share the audio because it's neil neil is the narrator for the audio is he really yeah. okay 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 neil peart not neil sean this this is the reason why for patrick harris i i'm awesome. i'm not ready to do Clockwork Angels, yeah. Number yeah, one is what you just said. It's Neil's voice doing the audio reading for the book. Yeah. Number yeah. two, it was his last studio album. Number three, it was their last studio album. Now and number chills. four, The Garden I knew tears me right. up. I knew Every you were going to say that. I, I, you know what? I, uh, yeah, I knew you were right. going to say that. I'm yeah. changing my vote to doing Clockwork Angels last. And then right before we record the episode for The Garden, we will we will end, we'll quit. Let, we'll cancel the show. We just won't get to it. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Every rush uh, song, but one. Except for, except for <laughs> that one. Because uh, it makes Tim sad. <laughs> because it makes Tim yes. sad. Yes. Jay, choice number two. My choice make pick choose number two. Uh, is going to be um, a farewell to Kings. And the reason I cho choose, make, pick, choose that one is because it is, it has part one of the Cygnus X one, yeah. uh, the, the voyage and the very yes. clever, cleverly named mo uh, movements in that one. Pro uh, prologue one, two, and then three. So this really <laughs> was on fire when he was naming those. Uh, yeah, so now we just ought to say, hey, I was listening to Prologue <laughs> One the other day. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, you know, of, of course, I want to, because we just listened to the the book two. I feel like we should listen to, to, to one um, while book two is still on our minds. Uh, closer to the heart, of course, is on there, and then of course one of Jay's favorite, Jay being myself, oh, is hi. the uh, the very uh, uh, I guess it's my favorite one off of there. Yeah, I think it is my favorite one. It's the uh, Olivia Newton, the very not Olivia Newton John's <laughs> uh, uh, Xanadu. God rest her soul. Yes. yes. Bum, yes. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Sad to do. I and don't know all Jeff the Lynn words. song. No, that's a different one. Oh. Interestingly Anywho. enough, we have already covered three songs off of that. So we must really love a farewell to Kings around here. Yeah. Hey. I'm not gonna be right. Tim, okay. would you would you say that a farewell to Kings is your second favorite Rush album? Yes, I would. <laughs> okay. Because it's just, tied with everything except for moving pictures. Against. I was just taking a guess. Like, coming up strong. <laughs> Man, Jay's going to the old rush, too. Check him out. Yeah. What's he going to do next? Nobody knows. Not even Nobody me. knows. Hey, Tim, do you have a, if you had a second choice to pick, and you do, what would it be? Well, I'm going to trade that pick, choose, make, <laughs> and take Carmine Culpepper. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he's out. <laughs> oh, he's back. <laughs> Thanks, baby. <Rebbie>. And guys, <laughs> my Rebbie second choice is it involves a dog 
and a fire hydrant. Oh, here we go. It involves an incredible song. Hey, Shane, signal signal me when he's about to decide. about, About parental oppression, high school oppression. Such a great song. Subdivisions. I love that song. So therefore, my second choose pick make is Signals. Signals. Are you, are you, what, are you just going to pick that every time we do this, Tim? Well, you know, it's kind of interesting you should well, pick that and, because uh, we're, it's, isn't this the 40th anniversary? Oh, yeah. Or, or, yeah, they're yeah. going to be. Oh, and I said uh-huh. something on a podcast that we did not too long ago, and we sort of, for some reason, we brought this up. Uh, with the release of the 40th anniversary, I thought they were going to be releasing a live concert from that tour, and apparently they're not. Mm. So mm. I am sad about that. Plus, it'd be oh, kind yeah. of hard since, you know, uh, Neil has passed. I, <laughs> I would like some, I would like some more live from that time. But. Yeah. 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 You know, I'd like to hear the crowd reaction when they did Countdown. The, the Fable of take- Countdown. <laughs> Not that one. I'm sorry. Well, I will throw out for your listening pleasure, potentially. Let's see, what's another Rush album? <laughs> I think you're. What's it? I know Ooh, I'm going. I know I'm, I know I'm going with the more recent stuff here, but I've been listening. It's this one has really grown on me lately. Snakes and arrows. In fact, I said oh. I think I said something before about it being what not liking it as much and being one of my least favorites, but it's what? it's the it's stock is going up. <laughs> <laughs> it's stock is going up. Okay. I can I I I can see that I listened to that one uh, recently again. You know what I love about this this rush podcast that we're doing is <laughs> I've been listening Whoa, 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 whoa. We're doing a rush podcast? Oh, you didn't Nobody know? told me. Yeah, we're doing every Rush song. Rush podcast. Well, I wonder why you always say that at the yeah, beginning. Th- that's it. That's the reason. Oh. And you ever notice oh. we really oh. talk oh. mostly about Rush. So, you know, it's weird. But I I have been listening to a lot of Rush lately, you know, just to prep myself <laughs> and, you know, as research and stuff. And I am, uh, and let's face it here, we all, as we all know, I'm the... I'm the, uh, I'm more of a, a, a novice or beginner level compared to, to, to you guys, uh, of, uh, with, with Tim being the, the, uh, expert level, the, uh, the guru, but I prefer uh, master. Okay. Well, we'll debate okay. about it and then you could be the master debater, but, um, I but don't think, <laughs> Yeah, I'm here all uh, week. But I enjoy. I, I'm enjoying listening to Rush, and I'm learning. Uh, I'm learning new things about the music, and I'm going back, and I'm like, okay, well, you know, I, I didn't hate that song as much as I thought I did. Like, for example, <laughs> off of Hemispheres. Oh, we'll, we'll talk about that later because we're going to wrap up that album. Okay. Yes. Come so, back next week when mm-hmm. we wrap up Hemispheres. To what um, Jay has to say about it. It. Tim, so you get to okay. Make a... Oh no, Jay. Jay, you oh, get to make. Is, is it my turn? Okay. Yeah, back to you. Back to you, so Jay. My third. Uh, Jay with sports. My <laughs> sports. Everybody plays sport. Go <laughs> team. Um. So this one's going to be another kind of a shocker. Um. I'm going to pick choose Mick. Just because. I need to find out. Ow. Sorry. That was scary. <laughs> I just peed my pants. <laughs> I did loud. too, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to say, uh, yeah. this this choice may be su- surprising, but I want to know what it is about Tim, why Tim loves this album so much. So I would like to do Vapor Trails. And, uh, I mean... I know, uh, like, you know, it's it's the first album of Neil's, 
you know, since Neil's tragic tragedy with his his daughter and his wife, and it's auto, you know, it's autobiographical with the lyrics and stuff. Uh, I listened to it a little bit this the week. It's like I'm have to listen to so much Rush now. It's like listen to anything else, Jim. Every Rush song, uh, but uh, every Rush song. I'm I'm very interested to to discuss that because I and go into detail about that because I want to hear Tim's thoughts because you 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 really have a seem to have a fond spot or a soft spot in your heart for that album. Oh, oh yeah. So that's my third choose picnic. Vapor trails. Okay, I wrote it down, Tim. If you were to pick a, an album, what if I was to pick my third choose mate option for what Rush album we're going to converse about next, it would be Son of a Bitch Vapor Trails. <laughs> what? That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's a big shocker right there. That's a the shocker. <laughs> hmm. I wrote wow. it down. In protest. <laughs> you know, when I talked to Tim today, I said no colluding. Uh, this apparently, was not colluding. This was not. Apparently, right. someone colluded, and I can smell it. <laughs> I uh, think we colluded a without bit realizing. More evidence than that. Somebody we, colluded the cheese, if you know what I'm I saying. I think we subconsciously colluded shit, uh, Tim. Tim, so uh, Tim in Wonderland. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, man, he, he's become Ghost Guy again. Heck, Joe, Patronum. <laughs> Did you tell us why, Tim? Just because you're going to say that in signals because every week? Because Jay talked before I talked to you oh, on the phone today. That's so <laughs> <not> true. <laughs> I deny it. Uh, I wasn't that's there. A good that's a good. My reason. dog ate it. I didn't see it. I didn't. I wasn't there. Right. No. Don't have my homework. Well, uh, that would be the first one that's picked twice. Yeah. See, yeah. I mean, you've got an album of such greatness and meaning. Of course, all their albums do. Yes. Uh, it, it's just. An easy choose make for me. Yeah. Okay. I no particular reason, just because I want to talk about vapor trails. Well, and 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 I would like to talk about it because I want to hear I wanna I wanna understand what's special about it to you. I mean, I I, I like some of the songs on it. Like I said, listen to it this week. I want to listen to it a lot more because I you know, I I really I feel like it's it's time I understand why Tim loves vapor trails. I love vapor trails. Tim, Tim do you love vapor trails, or have you just heard it a couple times? And I love vapor trails. I love vapor trails. There you have it, Shane. He loves vapor trails. That will Shane. never get old. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no peer pressure to have your name on this boat. I, I'd been listening to a lot of signals and I had been leaning towards signals, but then I thought we have done power windows kind of from that keyboard era. Then we did hemispheres more from that classic, well, what we call the classic Russia era. And so I was thinking that ne the next one, excuse me, should be from an era, an era other than those. So then. So I decided to not nominate Signals. And if you notice, my suggestions have been pretty heavily leaning towards that. What would you call that last era? I call it the cast. They've been very, very, um, what's the word? Very weighed, weighted, weighted towards the kick-ass area. Oh. Area so was kinda, or yeah. era? Yeah, you tell me. Because okay. I have and my words aren't on my face right now. Yeah. So I was also I was, so I was leaning towards that or taking it all the way back to the first album. Yeah. Because, that was a good choice. I mean, because it it could be in the kick ass era era. It could it be is kick ass. It but, is pretty kick ass. But I decided to just weight it towards the back. It's like a drill press. It's all at the top. It's all the weights at the top. It's going to tip over 
because I'm going all kick-ass era with and rounding it out with my third nomination, Vapor Trails. Okay. It's unanimous. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> and look, I'll show you proof right here. Oh, you read it down? And I'd already oh, written right it down again. before he started. He literally just wrote it down. <laughs> yes. So I guess that doesn't mean we need to revisit rounds one and two of this because we have a unanimous vote, correct? That is correct. Yeah. 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 I, I also think and that from now on. What are rounds? Yeah, what's around him? I don't understand all these words that you're making up. Yeah. That sounds like something from that Beer <laughs> Thursday podcast. I think I think anytime we all three mention something, Beer stop. Thursday theme song. <laughs> you gotta get the, the yeah. yeah, I think anytime we have these where we Shane chat, just missed out on three part harmony. Oh man! Like I can do three part harmony. <laughs> well, not at the same. Time. I didn't miss anything. Oh yeah, good point. I mean, I can record it and go back and after fifty takes, get it eventually. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think anytime really. that we're doing these, if we get to us an album that we all three suggest, we can just end it right there it's, and go with that it's one. It's right. There. Yeah. I think uh, trails. Yeah. So then yes. I also think that we should rank them next time, and that way go down the list until we get to until there's one that. Each of us says. Now let me ask you this. So if we when we take the the after the next album, after we've done vapor trails, are we gonna go back and try to come up with more choices or are we gonna to to go to our, our the runners ups? No, no like, I, I I say fresh each time. On. Fresh, fresh each time? time? Yeah. yeah but you know what? I like that because you it changes. It changed right. my, what I wanted to do changed from the first time we talked. If yeah, you had not Tim's... started listening to the first album more, mm-hmm. you wouldn't be considering it as that, no. No, uh, nominating it. I so. wouldn't even, I didn't even want to, I didn't even want to include it. You know, right. that's exactly right. And now I, I, for shame, for shame. For saying. me? No, shame, not oh, shame. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> for shame, for shame. It's true. All right. Well, well there we are. That, that's yeah, because be Tim's been very consistent. Episodes. Oh Tim's yeah, very, been very consistent in his nominations. And I don't write anything down. Yeah, I've and I don't that. remember anything. So, so, yeah. It'd be so much fun. <laughs> okay. There are wow. there are eleven songs in this in uh, in uh, oh no that's counterparts. <laughs> Yeah, there there are a lot of songs in Vapor Trail. We're going to be on that one a while. Okay, so I also, by the way, I listened to... Three the, months? About three months. I listened to Vapor Trails, and then I looked, listened to the 2013 remaster, and I'm not really sure if I'm hearing anything. Maybe the vocals are a little bit more clear, but I, I, I'm not sure if I'm hearing anything different. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've never heard the original. So I don't know. I've only heard the remix. Gentlemen, there are 13 songs yeah. on Vapor Trails. This will be a 13. This will probably take us through the summer. It'll last the entire summer. Except I want to yeah. be, especially since I want to do Bastille Day on Bastille Day. Yes. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. When is Bastille Day? June, no, July 5th? 6th? 14th. 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 July 14th. Okay. Down. Wait a second. No, 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 no. Ninth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, yes. sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twenty. No, no, it's the twenty second, twenty third. What's he doing? Why is Tim disappearing into an album cover he's counting? Finally lost his mind. He has lost his mind. Wow! Him. Join us. I think it's over. And that means yes, we've already covered uh, Secret Touch on episode twelve. We're going to do Secret Touch again because uh, maybe maybe Jay will listen to it this time. Actually, you know what? I, I was just listening to it. Again. I it just it, it popped up on one of my playlists. Uh, I was listening to Secret Touch, and it secretly touched me. Ooh, nice. Aww. Well, then in two weeks we will have our intro to Vapor Trails, and then a week after that, whatever the first song is, whatever the hell that is. Yeah, really, 
You don't know what the first song is? It's one little victory in it, LA. It's, yeah, it's the song <laughs> that said, hey, guys, we're, we're back. back. I really thought we were going to do that. And our first 12 or so where we were just picking favorites, I really thought that song was going to gonna make it. Yeah. But what about a victory? I wrote that one little victory. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Cool. All right. Well, until then, email us. Which album do you want us to do fourth? Tell us 2112 at everyrushsong.com. Social medias at every rush song. Tim. Vancouver, the part of Canada that nobody really cares for. You've been a great audience. Thank you very kindly. What about Ryan Reynolds? <laughs> <laughs>